Hello sweet friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new, I'm so happy that you're here for this video. So today I'm going to be sharing a Target shop with me, all kinds of spring home decor from Target and it's all so beautiful and I'm also going to be doing a little bit of decorating with the items that I found from Target. So I'm going to take a quick moment to pop in the footage from my shopping adventures at Target and then we are going to meet right back here so I can share my haul. Target really has so many cute pieces out in the dollar spot right now, so make sure you go and check them out. I have to be careful, I have to catch myself and really be intentional when I'm walking through the dollar spot because everything is at such a good price point and it's so easy to pile things into your cart and just think, oh, it's the dollar spot, but it really does add up. So I was careful, I didn't spend too much, but there were so many cute things, lots of cute bunnies, they had lots of chicken things out too, which is kind of fun because I have a friend who just got some chickens and she was able to grab some really cute things for her house. Uh, but I loved all of the different wooden pieces. I felt like some of these smaller charcuterie boards could be great layering boards, or you could put like a little candle on one of them so they could be used also for decorating. Honestly, so many good options. So if you're looking for some really affordable decor for the spring season, I would definitely go and check out the dollar spot. Now we're going to move on to the frame aisle and I wanted to do this intentionally because I recently shared a gallery wall in our breakfast nook and got a lot of questions about the frames that we used. While some of them were antiques, some of them were from Target, specifically this one here. I also love the lighter wood frames and have several of these in our house. Um, Target is a, an, an affordable place to buy frames. I love to get downloadable prints or order my prints from the heirloom print shop and have those actual physical prints shipped to our home.
that I've learned the hard way while trying to make our home beautiful over the years is that I have let my own indecisiveness get in the way. So I see so many beautiful things that I loved and I would just walk the aisles for what felt like forever, but I just couldn't choose. And I was worried that maybe something wouldn't look good in my space. So I would spend all this time in a store and then I'd end up going home empty handed. So there's a lot of tips that can help you succeed when you're shopping, like pre-measuring out your spaces or taking a quick photo on your phone to refer back to in the store. But ultimately, the only way that you'll know for sure is by actually taking the items home and seeing them in your home. So assuming that you have the budget for it, I highly recommend buying all the pieces that you've got your eye on. Bring Target or any store into your home and play around with those pieces in your space. Tell your hubby, don't worry, I'm returning a good bit of it <laughs> and make sure that you follow through with that. I know there have been so many times I've had piles of returns just sit and sit in our house and then all of a sudden it was too late to return. Thankfully, Target has a pretty forgiving return policy. Um, Amazon, I believe, is more on the 30 day, but you can always return it and you're never going to know until you really see it in your space. So I definitely went home with a cart fuller than expected expected, but I ended up taking a bit of my pieces, I'd say three or four things back to the store. So highly recommend doing that again, if it's in the budget, I never want to encourage anyone to spend money that they don't need to be spending or that they don't have to spend. <music> plants and baskets and I also love this Studio McGee art. I have never run into it at our Target. It is so wild. It is always out of stock or maybe they just and they don't usually stock it um, but I was pleasantly surprised to see that. at Target right now. This one in particular that I'm gonna do a close-up of here in just a second is one that we recently purchased. It was $100 for the five by seven and we have it in our breakfast nook and it looks so good in there. So highly recommend checking those out. Honestly, $100 for a five by seven that's really good quality is such a steal.
have to admit I was a little disappointed in the pillow selection and I have been for the last couple of months honestly since the holidays. I feel like they knocked it out of the park with the Christmas pillows and this one that I'm holding right now is really the only one that I got excited about and I didn't even end up going home with it because I have a striped pillow at home that I felt like would kind of clash. So I'm hoping that as we get closer to spring and into summer that they kind of up their pillow game. Otherwise, I may have to look elsewhere. So for now, I'm just going to work with some pillows that I already have. Hi friends, welcome back. I hope that you enjoyed that little shopping adventure and now I'm ready to dive in and share all of the pieces that I got. So I did end up purchasing probably more than I intended on, but as I shared in the video, I do anticipate that some of these items are going to be going back and will be getting returned. I just really wanted to see them in our space. So let's start. So many good things. I don't even know where to start. I guess I'm gonna start with this little plant because I think it is adorable. I absolutely love the little pine, not pine cone, what are they? Cone flowers? Are they called cone flowers? Let's see if it says tabletop arrangement. I love this. So this one comes in two different sizes and there was the larger size. I'm planning on doing a bathroom decorating video in our half bath. You guys know I really badly want to get in there and add some wallpaper and add some texture to the walls and just do it over but we're not quite ready we don't really have the capacity to do that right now so in the meantime why not decorate it right now it's looking pretty bare since i moved out all of the christmas decor it's really just bare bones so i'm excited to do that i think that'll be the next video that you'll see so with that i did decide to try my pine shelf that i got at the antique store a few videos back I think I'm gonna put that in the bathroom. So I was thinking this could be a cute little piece and I grabbed a couple other little pieces that I'm thinking that I'll put in there as well. So I love that one. Oh, and it was $15. I think the larger one was 25, um, but super cute, love that. Okay, I also grabbed these cutie little vases. I got all three of them for the shelf in that space. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them empty or if I'm going to add in like a little um, stem or two. The large one's $6.99 and then these two didn't have tags on them. And part of me thinks that these were part of a set, but when I got up to the register, he just said, how do you feel about $3 for both? Target's super flexible. <laughs> and so I just said, that's totally fine. So I got all three of these in different sizes and I think they're going to be really good for shelf decor. And then I also grabbed this cute little spritzer. This one is a plant mister. It has a little bit of like bronze detailing at the top and I thought that one was really cute with the glass just to kind of go along with the ribbed glass that I have here. I love all of that texture. And then just keeping in line with bathroom things i found whoop the lid just fell off of this <laughs> the salt soy blend candle from hearth and hand with magnolia it just is a very fresh scent it almost reminds me of like candles you would see called like ocean breeze or maybe even like linen so it's going to be a good scent to have in the bathroom and felt like that would be really pretty and kind of complements this plant here how we've got some lighter shades and then um, some darker as well okay from the target dollar spot i did end up grabbing some of those bunnies i had to <laughs> i couldn't pass them up i just feel like these are great for tabletop decor bookshelf decor other type of shelf decor um they're super cute and easy to just sprinkle in here and there to add just a little bit of that extra spring or easter decor i don't really decorate necessarily for easter in particular but i do like to sprinkle in some bunnies so i grabbed two uh, different styles of the larger bunnies so we have these two guys super cute and then there was a um like little boxed set of these two so these were five dollars each the larger size and then the smaller were five dollars for the set 
So I just love those guys. I think they're adorable. I did forget to put my ring on this morning and it feels really weird. <laughs> okay, another bunny thing. Again, I'm not like huge, huge into adding all the bunnies everywhere, but I did see this mug. It was $5 and I thought it would be a cute little addition to either our kitchen or our coffee bar. Again, for $5 and it's kind of that ivory white color. I just couldn't pass that guy up. Now, let's see, I did grab another candle from Hearth in Hand, um, similar but different than this one here. This is the lemon scent and it is obviously much larger. This one was $20. So that for me is kind of like my max. I don't like to spend more than $20 on a candle, um, but so fresh, so yum, and something I could use anywhere around the house and um, I'm thinking that we're going to decorate with it today in the living room on the coffee table. So that is the plan for that guy. Now, I did grab one outdoor pillow. This one um, is going to go on our swing. It is a small lumbar pillow. I'll be honest, I haven't been the best and I have been using a mix of outdoor pillows and non-outdoor pillows. And I highly, highly do not recommend doing that because I definitely ruined some pillows and had to throw those away. So um, I definitely feel like the outdoor pillows are not nearly as pretty as the indoor pillows, but they're more durable and they're waterproof or the covers are, so they're meant to withstand the weather, obviously. So um, I'm being a good girl and I got an outdoor lumbar pillow for that bench and then I, or that swing, and then I have some other pillows that I had grabbed at World Market at the, I think at the end of the summer or maybe in the fall, they were like 70% off, um, great deal. So I have three of those out on our little sectional sofa. I am known for switching that corner of our covered porch up so much, and I feel like I just have the itch. I don't know if it's spring, but I wanna do it again. So we'll see, I may end up listing that sectional. We definitely use it. We definitely need seating over there. Um, I think I just kind of, I don't know, I'm over the gray. So we'll see, stay tuned. But this is gonna go outside. Okay, I got two, well, one base, one planter. I feel like they're kind of interchangeable. I've had my eye on this one so many times. This one's been out for quite a while but it was the very last one at my Target and it had a lot of markings on it. I don't know if you can see the red markings. So when I got to the register, I mentioned it to the cashier and they took 10% off, which isn't much. Um, I think that's what they can take off without asking like a manager or supervisor to do a deeper discount. But honestly, that's just about as good as I've gotten at my Target before. I went ahead and took it because I wanted it and this side looks great. So if I were to put it on some sort of a shelf, we can totally hide the back. Or I thought about potentially getting out my magic eraser. I was trying to determine if that would affect um, the material. It's more of a matte than it is shiny. So I may like try that on one really small spot and see if that gets these off. I think I might use it in the living room on the coffee table as well. I'm just kind of going to play around with some things and we'll see what we land with. And then I grabbed this planter. I thought this one was super cute. It doesn't say how much it was. I am almost positive it was 15, which I felt like was pretty good considering this one was 25 and they're very similar in size. I loved the detailing of this one, and if you can tell, it's, it reminds me of pottery, how it's not absolutely perfect. It has some like wave to it and some ridges, and I thought this one was unique and would be one that I'd have a fun time playing with and decorating with. I can leave it alone or I can add some stems in it if I want to. Okay, I have, I think, three more things that I wanna share with you today. So I did end up grabbing this basket in the largest size. This one is beautiful. I love the coloring of it because we have a lot of darker tones that I've been adding into the house. And I like how this is light and bright and airy for spring. I can use this as a blanket basket and 
yeah, just have it sitting in our living room and it looks adorable. So I'm excited about that one. The last two pieces that I grabbed are from Studio McGee and they are the Studio McGee artwork. Okay, I almost feel giddy about this because our Target, we live in Charlotte, there's a bunch of Targets. There's probably six or eight Targets within 20 minutes of me. I can just choose whatever direction I wanna go. But, um, the one that I tend to go to the most that's just the closest and I feel like has in a decent selection, um, it, they never have the Studio McGee art. So I saw it for the first time and just said, I have to get it. Friends, this piece alone, this one was $40 and I love the print. This piece alone on Facebook Marketplace right now is selling for $150. I just saw a listing as I was scrolling and I can't believe it. These are so hard to keep in stock. Maybe just in our area, maybe all over, I'm not positive. Um, but people are buying them and reselling them for a ton of money, which is crazy. But I knew that when I could find it full price, or regular price, I should say, that I wanted to take advantage of that. So I love that one. Now, I've already taken the packaging off of that because I've kind of been playing around with it in the house and I've decided I wanna keep it. This one, I'm still undecided. I have seen this styled in so many homes and it looks absolutely gorgeous. These colors are just not colors that I am used to incorporating in our house, but I'm not against it. Um, I, I love the greens. I really do like the oranges and the blue, I guess it's like a blue green. It's kind of what throws me off a little bit. So I did keep this in the packaging. One thing I love that they do at Target, um, Threshold in particular, I'm not sure about other brands, but when they have frames and things like that, um, they have this great hardware on the back. So you can actually hang it up if you have a nail in your wall um, and just kind of get an idea. Do I like this? Would this look good in this space? So I have a shelf in the kitchen that is a little peg rail shelf and I've kind of just been tired of decorating it and feeling not very inspired with it. So I was thinking I might add a piece of artwork to that space instead. I'm torn between two different frame options, so I'm really curious to get your feedback in this video today. Okay, friends, that is my haul. We are going to get to decorating with some of these pieces now. Um, as I mentioned, I do have a decorating video coming in our half bath, and it's just going to be a few simple ways to spruce up a space that maybe you do have plans of completely redoing someday, but just being able to enjoy it as it is right now. I also need to desperately organize my storage closet. That's coming. <laughs> it's just so much work. And I need to do it on a cool day because it is not air conditioned in there. So um, we are in the 70s and 80s right now, which is so crazy. So I'm gonna have to pick a cooler day. So that one is to be determined. Um, we've got a board and batten tutorial that we need to film. So many great things coming up and in the works. Okay, friends, let's go ahead and do a little spring decorating. We're gonna be kind of all over the place in this portion of the video because I'm just adding little bits of spring here and there to a few different spaces. So this is an olive plant that I had purchased at Target, I wanna say two years ago now, and I'm just setting it in a really pretty crock. This is actually a planter that was also from Target. Uh, last year, actually, it was part of the Hearth and Hand line, and so we are just checking out this space mostly because I want to share about the armoire, but if you are newer here and didn't see this room transformation, I'll try to link it down below. Make sure you go and check it out. It used to be our dining room, but we found that we weren't really using it very much. It was more of a formal space and we get a lot more use out of it right now as it is a sitting room.
So here's the armoire. This we already owned. It was in our laundry room and I shared it a few videos back and it was a mess. So we did some major organizing and put our shoes in here. We've got uh, Chad in my shoes, the kids shoes, and each of us have a basket for kids coats, adult coats, and then down at the bottom there are some drawers. And this is where we're storing some of our games. We love to play games in that front room. So we put some there that would be handy and easy to access. This is one of my favorite Facebook marketplace finds to date. I just love that armoire. Okay, now we're moving on to the console table. So this actually used to be a little spot where we had a wooden antique bench. It was gorgeous, but I found that I wasn't using it as much as I thought we would, I suppose. I was ready to switch things up. We were storing our shoes down below the bench and the armoires just got more storage and is kind of going to work out better for us. So the table that was where the armoire is now is in our basement and we swapped it out with this console table, which we actually had custom made when we moved to North Carolina about eight, eight and a half years ago. It's very similar, very similar to the table from World Market. If I can find that link, I'll link it down below. So just adding some really simple spring decor to this table to kind of liven up the entryway. I wanted to give you this shot so that you could kind of see the look down the hallway. I do plan on thrifting hopefully a really large beautiful basket like one of those old laundry baskets with handles on the sides to put on the top of our armoire. Now, aside from my Studio McGee print that is new, everything else on the table and under are items that I have already owned. Some of them we sold in our shop back when we owned a house and home and then uh, some of the other pieces I've just collected over time. So um, I'll try to link again as much as I possibly can if y'all want to try to kind of replicate that look. But I was just trying to work with what I had so I can't say that that's necessarily how it'll stay forever but I didn't want to go out and spend a ton of money unnecessarily. Moving into the living room here, I wanted to add some of my antique finds from the depot to this space on the fireplace mantle. So I have shared the shopping trip a few videos back and that was such a good one, but I wanted to finally bring some of those pieces into this space. And as you can tell, I've also swapped out my print on my frame TV just to bring in that floral and greenery touch for the spring season. So I'm adding these beautiful little crocs I've got a European jug and also some antique books. And I'm just keeping it that simple for the fireplace. Now over near our piano, I wanted to make just a very subtle change. I am adding a little cloche to my candle and putting my little candle snuffer right back in place. So I did switch out the print from my reindeer print that I had out during the holidays. This print technically is more geared towards the fall season. So uh, I just completely forgot when I was placing the order for our gallery wall in our breakfast nook to grab another print for that spot. So I will definitely get on that, but I wanted to share just kind of what I have done in this space.
here on our coffee table, I've just added a couple of my favorite home decor books. I've got those stacked on top of each other and then our vase from Target and a beautiful taper candlestick holder from Amazon. And I'm going to add some greens into this vase. I felt like it looked kind of bare without and since we're about to be in spring, I wanted to add some greenery. So these stems are actually originally so long, I went ahead and trimmed them. They're from Hobby Lobby. So if I can find them online, I'll link them down below for you. But I thought that I would kind of just put a few in there, give it a little bit of a whimsical look. I'm definitely open to hearing y'all's thoughts on the coffee table. Is that how you would decorate it? Would you do something differently? Um, it is a tricky space to decorate with all of the texture and the ridges. So if you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm thinking I may end up getting a tray for that space at some point, and that may help me out a little bit. I'm moving on into the kitchen. We're not really doing much decorating in here. I did some everyday decorating recently, but I wanted to pull the peg rail down and get your opinion to see which print you like better. So we, or I should say which frame. We have this that I just picked up. I think it's really pretty, but the more that I was looking at it, I just don't know if I love it right there. So the other option that I have, and I'm just pulling this one from the living room, so I would probably buy a second because I love this in the living room, but would be this frame. And the reason I'm thinking about this is I love how it ties in with the frame that we have above the stove and also with our antique island. So I'm thinking that I would probably turn this so that it would be vertical and I would hang it here. That's what I'm thinking, but I do want to hear your opinion of this down in the comments below. So please let me know, but here is the view so you can see if you haven't seen the kitchen before, I do have this same frame and a smaller size above the stove. And then I moved over here and brought the print actually into the kitchen on the kitchen countertops. It's covering up a couple of different outlets and light switches and I love it. So I think that I'm actually gonna keep it. I'm just going to use it on the countertop instead of on the side of the cabinet. Well, that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was jam packed with shopping, a decor haul and decorating. So I hope that you are leaving this video feeling inspired and excited to decorate your home for spring. Let me know if you have started doing so down in the comments below. And if you haven't, when do you usually start? Okay friends, I will see you on the next one. Bye.